Good morning, everyone, and welcome back. We're on day two of this fantastic event week here on Lapis Lakeside. Even better, we're starting off with five diamonds. Gotta love it, starting the morning off with diamonds. We're also going to start off with 100 sleep points. Let's go ahead and grab that. We've got 13,610 sneaky snacking. Very interesting. Even Wigglytuff rolled over into sneaky snacking last night. Hmm. Speaking of Wigglytuff, I am kind of second guessing having Wigglytuff on the team. It did not trigger a single time yesterday, which is just the worst. It is the one reason it is on the team is to trigger its main skill. Not once. Not good. So I'm really thinking we may need to switch it back for the Espeon that we had last week for this main skill charge strength M. It wasn't a ton of strength that we got from it, but there was about 15 to 20,000 strength that we got just from the charge uh, strength M alone. And that's not including all of the strength that we got from its berries over the course of the week for me collecting it, trying to get the skill to, to trigger. So I'm thinking we could realistically say we got probably 30,000 extra strength just from having Espeon on the team and Wigglytuff. I don't. I mean, if its skill isn't triggering, it's definitely not giving me any strength from recharging everyone else's energy. So it's just not really seeming like it's working out. And it may not necessarily be the Wigglytuff's fault. It could be that it's even if its main skill triggers, it's only seven energy for everybody, which isn't a huge difference. But again, it doesn't matter how much you get if it doesn't trigger. So I'm going to give it one more day, see how it works out. And if it's not doing great then i'm gonna swap it out for espion because it's kind of been disappointing but long story short we are at 6628 sleep points and let's go ahead and play our daily lottery um we do have quite a few biscuits so some diamonds would be nice Ooh, a recovery incense not the greatest thing you could get but certainly not unwelcome Let's go ahead and move on to this sleep report and see if we got anything interesting. I really, all that talk about Wigglytuff, I really would like to get a good Ralts that would be a better replacement for Wigglytuff. But we so far haven't, I don't even think we've seen a Ralts at all in hours and 12 minutes of sleep. I did go to bed early, woke up at my usual time, so that does make sense. Uh, quite a bit. Let's see. We got 12% dozing, 45% snoozing and 43% slumbering. A month ago, I'd have said this was a balanced sleep. Now, I don't know what it's going to be. I'm still going to say balanced, but it's slumbering. I don't know. Slumbering type. I mean, that's not great. Cause that is that stuffle, I think. And we're looking for a Gardevoir, which is snoozing, right? I don't know. I don't remember anymore. I need to go back and look at them, but it's also very terrible that it's only 5 million and four spawns. Yikes. That doesn't feel good. Maybe all four of them are Stuffle, though. That'd be great. Swablu, a Riolu. All right. We probably have all of these sleep styles. Well, there is a Stuffle, at least. We do have all four of these sleep styles, Riolu, Stuffle, Swablu, and Doduo. All right, well, we definitely know which one we're going to try to catch. Hopefully it's hungry so we don't have to use any regular biscuits and we can just get it with the bonus, but we'll see. Of course, it's not hungry. I don't know what I was talking about. They're never hungry. Not anymore. We do already have a good Stuffle, but not going to complain about getting a better one. Or, at the very least, free candies. Did not take it home with just the bonus biscuit. Let's see if a Poke Biscuit will work. Nope. Gonna take two biscuits. Won't be full. Won't be full, buddy. Of course. Of course you're full. Okay. Well, anything else we want to do? be lying if I said I wasn't tempted to give the Swablu one biscuit just to see what happens because it would put it at level 10 if we somehow get a critical capture but I also don't really want to waste any biscuits and I'm not super worried about getting a Swablu right now oh 
Unfortunately, no new friends today. We're just going to go ahead and head back to camp. And we, of course, are going to give out the stuffle candy. Try to give everybody a good start. Actually, I'm curious how much stuffle candy even I have. Uh, 204 research XP, not a lot, but that is to be expected on a Tuesday morning. 413 dream shards, same story as the research XP. And let's see, before I forget, because I will forget if I don't go check it now, another 468 sneaky snacking, with that beautiful animation. Let's go look at our stuffle. Very curious how many candies we have. 95 already, that's very good. That is a lot more than what I thought. I was expecting about 50 or 60, but 95? Can't complain about that. Um, so we may, if we don't find anything better, we may have to put that to good use. Oh, actually, while we're here, I did get someone asking yesterday. It's been a while since I've talked about it, about the, uh, the method behind my naming scheme. So essentially, all I do, just a quick explanation, is I take the Pokemon, put them into the Raynon calculator, and I name them based on their specialty, and then whatever their weighted average is. So let me go ahead and just show one, for example, real quick. So if we go to rate my Pokemon, let's just pull up the, of course, the Shiny Blastoise, because that, you know, why not? So when we run it on ingredient count, which is what I use for ingredient specialists, we see that its weighted average is 98%. And I have this as a, a full weighted average. I've gone in and changed the weight of every level to one. This isn't the default. I think if you now, I don't remember how to set it back to default or what the defaults are. I just have mine to a full weight, everything evenly across all the levels. And that gives me a 98%. And so that's what I name it. It is an ingredient specialist. So it's ingredient. ING because ingredient is too long. The game only gives you, I think, 12 characters to name your Pokemon. So I do ING 98%. And then the very rare hybrids that I have, uh, those are based on and pull Venusaur up. Ooh, its rating has actually changed quite substantially because I don't rate it the same. So this is 77%. It's actually been a while so 77 is probably more accurate and then let's check the total strength yeah 68 percent so the reason i call this a hybrid is because it has berry finding at some point um it will be better in the long run uh once we get to level 50 with the berry finding but for now i'm gonna change this one to hybrid 77 percent that's about the only time I really call them hybrid is if they have something, they are an ingredient specialist that also has berry finding, which makes them good for both. And it is not ideal. If you're looking specifically for ingredients, you don't necessarily want what I call a hybrid, but it also doesn't necessarily hurt all the time. Sometimes you have a really good Pokemon that's an, that's an ingredient specialist and berry finding just comes in in the perfect slot. You don't lose anything for it, and it's a perfect hybrid. But those are even more rare. Butterfree, the one slight exception. I only do this because it's a shiny Butterfree. I call this a berry specialist hybrid because it is ingredient magnet and it has ingredient finder S. So that's why that one's a hybrid. That's uh, you know, maybe I need to rethink this one, but it's a shiny Butterfree. So you know, what am I going to do? I can't just get rid of it. I got to keep it. But that's just kind of a kind of a behind the scenes of why I name my Pokemon what I do. It's not necessarily the best method of naming your Pokemon. I'm sure there's probably a better. Well, there almost certainly is a better way to name them, but it works for me. And to those of you that were asking, that's why. So let's go ahead and move on. And we are going to grab no new news because we had quite a bit yesterday. Let's see, we do 48 reports today. 44, it does seem to be the magic number. I mean, it's not terrible, but it's not quite 50 and I'm still confused as to why. Still trying to figure that out. But we did get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, only eight that doubled. Hmm, very interesting. 
Well, that is not even 20%. Been having a run of bad luck on our double candy, but it'll pick back up. We did get one level up. Only the one. I thought we'd have two today. But that's all right. That's good for a link cable, which is good for some candy. Or an evolution, whatever we decide to use it for. All right. Now, when it comes to these Pokemon, let's check Primate and Meganium. See if they had a skill trigger while they were filling up yesterday. I was not able to find a consistent way for us to really don't want to click on Wigglytuff yet. I wasn't able to find a way for us to consistently make the lovely kiss smoothie. Hey, there's one skill trigger. One out of four so far. I need Wigglytuff to make it two out of five. Wasn't able to find a way to consistently make the lovely kiss smoothie that we were trying to make. Unfortunately, our answer is just not that great. And that's what we needed to be good in order to make this work. Because if we had pincer with the same ingredient spread of uh, honey at level one, apples at level 30, then we could have pincer and blastoise on the team. Those two gathering the ingredients and that frees up that extra slot that Wigglytuff is currently holding for a utility Pokemon. Unfortunately, when running pincer through, actually, let me see. We might have enough apples right now to make it. We do. So we're going to make it as often as we can based on ingredient magnet pulling in some apples. Um, but we just don't have a way of... Let's cancel that. I was silly. We don't have a way of making it happen consistently. I ran it through team analysis and unfortunately the pincer only brings in like... Eight. No. It brought in enough apples, but it wouldn't bring in enough honey. It, was, it has said something like eight or nine honey a day which is not enough. We need seven per per cook. So unfortunately, not going to be able to make it all week like I want, but we will make it as often as we can because we do want to level it up at every opportunity. It will eventually be significantly better than the sweet scent chocolate cake. And even now, 6,681, it's about 13, 1,400 shy of what the sweet scent chocolate cake has been turning out, I think. So... Not too bad. Hopefully by the time we get it leveled up, it will be far better. Just is what it is right now. But let's see, we did get how much energy plus one for everybody. I did try to double check last night when I fed dinner to see if I got a random super high energy recovery like I did on Sunday night. And I didn't, it was only plus four for everybody. But it does seem like I wasn't alone. A lot of you guys also reported that you saw plus 40, plus 50 in your energy for dinner on Sunday. So I don't know what that's about. But I did not replicate it last night. Who knows? Maybe we'll figure it out. Maybe somebody's figured it out. But this game is always providing us with mysteries. And I actually kind of like that. It's nice that we don't have all the answers. But Blastoise also doesn't have an ingredient magnet trigger. It did trigger last yesterday, so... Not surprised, given its nature. There we go. That's what we need. So there's one. If this thing can trigger at least two more times today, then I think we should keep it on the team. But it really needs to be triggering at least three times a day to really make it worth keeping on the team. If it's not going to do that, then I think having Espeon, which was triggering two or three times a day, so without the island bonus, that's 3,400 extra strength a day. That, I think, is worth it. But we'll just have to wait and see how it goes. So don't be surprised if uh, in tomorrow's episode you see Espeon on the team. Come on, trigger. Nope, no dice. But uh, we also didn't get any missions complete. Kind of, a, kind of a slow start to the week. So not a whole lot going on today. Sleep research didn't go very well. But... At least we were able to make the lovely kiss smoothie, which is what we're going to try to make. And with that, that's all I've got for today. Thank you for watching the video. Make sure to hit that like button if you liked it. Subscribe if you want to see more. And until next time, later dudes.